is a plant. And scientifically, what plants are best known for is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis generally takes three ingredients. Sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water. But did you know that you really don't need this? Or even this? And that's thanks to our little friend here, GSV1, or green sulfur bacteria, who lives in the ocean at a depth of 2,000 meters, or four times the depth that sunlight can penetrate. And he uses a special form of photosynthesis called anoxygenic photosynthesis. The first question you might be asking me is how does bacteria photosynthesize without sunlight? Hydrothermal vents, where GSV1 lives, produce a mild amount of visible geothermal light, similar to the light from a hair dryer. All right, so we know where it gets its light from. How about what replaces water? That would be hydrogen sulfide, a gas that is also produced by the hydrothermal vents. Okay, let's back it up and talk about regular photosynthesis. In photosynthesis, there's two systems, photosystem one and photosystem two. For the sake of this conversation, we're gonna concentrate on photosystem one, since that is where the difference lies between photosynthesis and anoxygenic photosynthesis. When sunlight hits the chloroplast on a plant, the electrons stored in water become excited and are picked up by electron acceptors, which form the electron transport chain, which produces NADPH, a molecule used in photosystem two, to transport energy between reactions. And then the leftover protons are used to form ATP, which is the universal energy source for all living cells, and oxygen is expelled as a waste product. In anoxygenic photosynthesis, the water is swapped out for hydrogen sulfide because of the weaker light from the hydrothermal vents. Meaning that it's not strong enough to break down water, but it is strong enough to break down the hydrogen sulfide. Even though this reaction takes much longer, electrons are still picked up by the electron transport chain, protons still go onto the proton gradient, sulfur becomes discarded. So, the products of anoxygenic photosynthesis are NADPH, ATP, and elemental sulfur. 